Hello everyone. I'm here today to show you how I go about collecting some materials for upgrading your weapons and suits in Elite Dangerous Odyssey, the Alpha. What I'm looking for today are manufacturing instructions, ionized gas and compression liquefied gas. These can be found at manufacturing or synthetic settlements which I'm already at, I've been going around collecting them, so I thought I'd just show you how I go about it. I actually re -log to collect these. You can just take the missions and go and complete the mission and then come back, but it's going to take you a lot longer that way. So I don't complete the mission and I re-log and keep doing it because the materials respawn. That way I can collect materials a lot quicker. Okay, let's go. Jump in here. Welcome back, Commander. Your utility suit underscore class two has touched down on Elliot Charlie Delta One Zero Foxtrot. Okay, you can see I'm here. Uh, this in the vicinity of synthetic Elliot settlement. Delta One Zero Foxtrot in the Elliot system. And I've got my SRV ready over here. With no designated target system. I'll jump into my SRV. Drive assist on. Okay, I'm going to go into the turret. Put night vision on. That will help spot everyone. Um, what I'm going to do is take out the two ground turrets that are here on the base and as many NPCs as I can before I actually go in and foot. And that will just help speed things up. Okay, once I start attacking this ground turret, you'll see that the NPCs start coming to uh, get me. Take out that sentry skimmer while I'm on. Target destroyed. There we go. Target shields offline. As you can see, they go down fairly easily. Target shields. With the uh, Target SRV. Under attack. So I'm just going to watch for them coming from the side. Keep an eye that your shields don't go down. Target shields offline. Target destroyed. Target shields offline. Target destroyed. Target shields offline. Target and then between shooting the NPCs, you can go back to shooting the ground turret. Target shields offline. There, yeah, the ground turret's destroyed. Got a load of NPC bodies on the ground now. And just give it a second to see if there's any more about to rush me. Doesn't look like it. So now I will deploy on foot. Oh, no, Notice no. I'm using the Maverick. And there's somebody there, so let's jump back in there. Who's attacking me? Oh, wherever it was, they've gone again. It's weird. Right. So I'm using the Maverick. Um, this is because you need the art cutter to uh, open the, the lockers. Disembark. Drive assist off. Not going to go and get the lockers just yet. Extremely what I want to do is check these bodies. Looking for a security access. This one's got level 1 security access, that'll get me in. Security 2 would be better, but I can always get a 2 from somebody who's already in there. Security profile no NPCs. Any over here? No. Well, that'll do. Oh, there's a 2. Let's 
So now I have security level 2 security access. I can get back on board the SRV. Drive assist on. I'm quickly pop around to the uh, other side of the settlement on this side. Again, you have to keep an eye out for any NPCs. to the landing at that. I'm just going to leave the SRV roughly where it was when I started. So I'm in position next time to start Target again. Destroyed. Give it a second, see if there's any more. No, I think that's about it. Right, now I go on foot. I'm going to scavenge the materials that I need from the two industrial buildings. Extremely low temperature detected. Shield activated. Low gravity detected. Okay, as I said, it's the two industrial buildings that I want to scavenge. This is the first one, the one that's on the right here. Let's go to this entrance just here. I want to make sure our shield's on before we go in. And we need to watch out on the radar for any NPCs and then go up this way. Let's check around. And then we've got the first industrial data port here. We're looking for manufacturing instructions. Yeah, there is none here. Um, this is where they spawn though, industrial data ports. So that is what we're uh, here looking for. There's only the one in this building. Okay, that's them down. And switch the shield off, clear these lockers out. Just taking anything that's of any value while I'm here. You can also check on this counter here because there's often items left out. And then we need the uh, art cutter to cut this locker open. Nothing in there. And these lockers are where the ionized gas and compression liquefied gas, there we go, ionized gas, and the compression liquefied gas also spawn there. And we can nip over here. Suit recharge Charge our suit. suit fully charged. Pop down this way. Clear these two lockers out of anything worthwhile. And then back out again. If you need any med kits or anything, there's them there. There's often things left on the side here as well. Don't want that. Back outside, there we go across this way. Leaving pressurized 
This is the other building here. We can grab some ammo from outside. Put your shields on again before you go inside. Watch for NPCs on the radar. Not seen anything yet. There we go, there's one. Take him down. There's usually two or three on this lower area. There's that. There's usually another one. Maybe in this room still. Can't see them. Seem to be pretty clear at the moment. So yes, the first thing we want to do is check this data port again for the manufacturing instructions. Industrial data port. None there though. Okay. Even on those data ports they don't spawn that often. Then they've got another one here. Here we go, manufacturing instructions. There's one. Just had to hang around here a second while it downloads. Okay, that's that done. Go around this way to this uh, prop building here. Check that's clear of NPCs now to here, which it is. We can start clearing these lockers out of anything worthwhile. Again, you can check the side here. Nothing I want there. Here you go, compression liquefied gas. I'm going to go out here. We can recharge our suit again here. Then down here to clear these lockers out. Again, there's medkits around if you need them. Off into this lab. And once we're in here, there's another lab data port here. This can also spawn the manufacturing instructions. So it's worth checking that. And then clear these lockers out, wherever you want. That one's already been opened. Nothing else I want there. Okay. Back out and across to the lab at the other side of the building. Just double check there's nobody left in here. And then clear out these lockers. As you can see from the uh, the report in the top right, I'm on 16 of 21 killed for the uh, the raid mission that I'm on. I don't want to complete the mission because if I complete the mission then I can't keep redoing this so I need to leave the mission uncompleted like this. And what I do now, now I've got to that point, is just exit. I'll have to wait for this uh, danger timeout. But then once that's complete I can exit, go back to the main menu and I'm ready to log back in again and go back into the SRV. 
And you can just keep doing that until you have all the manufacturing instructions, ionized gas and compression liquefied gas that you need. Hope that helps you. Thanks for watching. Please like this video if you'd like to help me out. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Post any comments down below. And turn on notifications if you'd like to know when more videos arrive. Until next time commanders, 07.